right, we're going to give it a few minutes until at least five after. Um, for folks to show. Hey, Nikolai. Good morning. Meeting notes posted to the Zoom chat. You can add your name and any agenda items. We'll wait until five after to get started. Well, um, it looks like we have a very small group today. Um, do you have anything, Nikolai, to talk about? Uh, no, not really, no. All right.
Wow. Let's um, go ahead. No, I mean, I was saying that that that's a lot, like 30 people. Yeah, that's a pretty decent um, group. Mm -hmm. And that's only who are willing to respond. And there's always people not willing to respond. Yeah. Um, I said registered. I'll put RSVP. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of just jumping down here, but let's see. Uh, what else do we have? So, oh, well, this could be throwing things off. Daylight oh. savings, uh, time change in Europe. So we had a time change in the U.S. Um, a couple of weeks ago, and now we're having Europe. I don't know if there's anywhere else that's different. Uh, but that could be throwing some people off for today. And let's see. We're canceling a few of the meetings <clears throat> in April. <clears throat> Actually, most of them. There's a public holiday, then we got KubeCon week, and then post KubeCon, a lot of folks aren't available. I guess if some people that didn't come want to continue, that'd be fine. I will not be available that week. Uh, so we can come back and revisit this. Um, I'm just going to fit like a maybe. Here. Oh, I clicked add on. There's too many things being added now. I want to do a comment. And you're going to be there, Nikolai, for the whole week, though, KubeCon? Uh, yep, I'm arriving on 17. Great. All right. You going to make it to any of the other events like Open Source Summit in Vancouver? No, no. Do you know if I surveillance will be at the Big Five event in Austin in May? I don't have anything of that on my calendar, no. <clears throat> oh, is, is OSS CFP still open? Um, I don't know. No, no, no. I mean for uh, this one probably. I mean, for which I mean, one? I was referring for the European one. In September. Oh. Let's take a look. Looks like it. Yeah. What deadline? I did so remember. Till May 2nd. Oh, okay. There's still time. And what about open networking and edge summit? Is it still happening? I think the last. Um, this this one. Is that what you mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So okay. it's they're having it around the open source summit. I see. I see. Instead yeah. of by itself or yeah, <clears throat> interesting. Is it the same for the European one? Maybe it's um, well. I don't see that one at all. Did that? I think that one may have already happened. I 
think I need to stretch the screen. Uh, hold on, sorry. Just a little dull. Look at that. There it is. I can't make it any bigger. <clears throat> Yeah, there is LF networking cone one. Yeah. Yeah, this one's it might have been like a past event. Though if it did it in Europe. The Europe would normally happen before. Isn't there like a past event area? Open Source Summit Europe. Well, maybe they didn't get it set up soon mm. enough for that. Hmm. Well, I think this is what happened instead of the a one summit. Mm -hmm. They had the Elephant Developer and Testing Forum, and then the so maybe they're splitting it, doing this one and then doing one summit <clears throat> as one event. Interesting, yeah. Anyways. Mm. All right. I was gonna add a few of the org names <clears throat> um, some names are recognized, but they're using like Gmail instead of company names. So I don't I don't know what the plan is there. I see uh, Daniel uh, Finneran from Isovalent. Yeah, he, he, he also has a uh, lightning talk for uh, Telco Day, so. You miss an A. Great. All right. That's a pretty Good list. I see a few other company names. I'm not going to list them all. And I, I don't know, about a, a quarter or a third are just Gmails and Yahoo's. So <laughs> um, whatever, who, wherever they're from. But that's a pretty good group of CSPs and uh, vendors. Both. Oh, but yeah, it's time to merge this. That might have kept some people from joining. 
Um, since the, the time wasn't updated yet. At least uh, here. I think it's I think the calendar is correct if if people subscribe to the <clears throat> CNCF calendar. <clears throat> Yeah, but obviously updated my calendar, so you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, you made I'm, it. <laughs> I just imported the event from uh, from the official calendar from CNC. Right. So. All right. Well, um, I guess this is it. If if we don't have anything else today. Um, the, can, you quick, can you just quickly tell me if I su submitted for the birth of a federal session? I think I did. I just, if I missed, I should submit again. Um, let me look. I think if you try to submit, then it'll tell you. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. If it's from the same email or whatever, but I see your name in it. You submitted for your isovalent email. Yes. And you're not willing to talk. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have a topic that you put in. Um, let's see. Uh, all right. I see Paul Graham. That's, I think he's from, that would be Paul Graham from Matrix. And he says yes and no for a topic. Interesting. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I didn't know that you could select both at the same time. He meant to do that or just playing because I, I, I didn't. That's a quantum computing answer, right? <laughs> Here, yeah. <laughs> Let's um, topics. Um, uh, possible topic ideas. Uh, number, I'll say number of possible Topic ideas people have. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see at least eight there. And then there's, I think there's been a few that were submitted that are not in here. So I'll just say 10 to 12. So that's good. Better to come with some, some people to have some things. I think. Just people wanting to learn is, is sounds good. Why are people saying conformance? Oh, I'm not even going to put that one. In. I didn't even have to. Okay, let's see. Um, Silva. Oh, there we go. Silva and Nephi. Yeah. Someone wants to talk about Kamara. Kind of different. Um, different areas. All right. And then I think we had some over here. I'm going to drop this in just for other folks to be able to come and see. Where was it? Topic ideas. 
The ether pad. We're not sharing. I know it's shared in the video, but I don't want to make it clickable until we're ready for the ether pad and share with you. We just don't want it to be spammed. All right, oops, keep doing my shift dinner. So there's there's some topics that are wanting that have been put forward for discussion. So there seems to be a lot of interest in Silva. All right, do these spark any ideas for you, Nikolai? Oh, if you, <laughs> you want to put forward right now, not a big deal. Okay. Right now we don't have any type of virtual setup officially planned for the telco gathering, community gathering. Um, depending on where the venue is, which is potentially going to be offsite about six minute walk from REI, maybe a little bit more with parking lot, but fairly close. We found a, a co-working place and that's that one has um, maybe more capability to do presentations on a screen and potentially we could stream something like maybe a, a zoom or something i don't think it's going to be a great setup and i for virtual like where i would say ever we're going to have video and great audio or something uh so i don't want to push that if we can make it work then that's um fine i wouldn't want to offer like any type of presentation virtually it would uh, remote someone do a remote so I think it would strictly be you can join a zoom you can listen maybe you can chat in fact I gotta look at maybe bringing like a, a USB conference um, thing if as a, an option is the telco day being streamed the telco day is not virtual at all and it's not going to be virtual. Not recorded. Not not anything. It, it should be recorded. Um, and yeah, Lucina's got it. She's she's on the she's yeah. a 
co-chair or whatever for that uh, on the okay. program committee. Yeah. I don't have the details. Mm -hmm. All right, great. So it'll be posted the same way as what they, they plan to do. And if we can get, uh, what we need is to get sponsors for the North America and we can get virtual for that. We've been asked about virtual attendance for Telco Day every time. The very <laughs> first one, we had good attendance, both in person and virtual um, and participation. So we need to get sponsors for the next ones, make sure it happens and that we can. Oh. Um, and if we get it ahead of time, it's going to be a lot easier to get you know, more spots, get people into the conference and everything else. And maybe do a full day rather than a half day and then this informal, if we can get the sponsors. So pitch to Isovalent and tell, tell all your colleagues that other places. <laughs> oh. By the way, the the last episode of the Echo, I don't know if you know this, it's a, it's a telco, I will post it here. Uh, it's, a, I'm sorry, Echo Echo is a thing that, uh, you know, the, it's it's revolving a lot around uh, Cilium and eBPF in general. It's more of eBPF uh, based stuff, but it was uh, with, uh, I think Vuk from DT, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, they were talking about some telco stuff there, interesting uh, presentation. I will post it here as a, as a note on the back. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, Is that different from this Cilium ABPS for telco workloads? No, it's it's um it's a like a live. Uh, uh, Oh, okay. Echo. Yeah. Hmm. All right. No, it's at uh, 84. Sorry. Can you give a link to the project? 84. Or is that, is uh, Echo is the podcast? The... Yeah, yeah. It's like a podcast or something like this. But uh, it, it was a really, really, really nice discussion about the general telco problems in this in the space it was a lot less about ebpf and more about you know the general approach of telcos uh, interesting uh, some interesting thoughts from um, like uh being shared uh, experience uh, and stuff from uh, deutsche telecom yeah i really like the way that they think all right I'm a little bit op too optimistic about <laughs> uh, but yeah that's great. Well, um, maybe we can just watch this, but also uh, maybe it'd be something to put out on a tweet on the CNFRN group and uh, post it. If, if you don't mind, post it to the CNF working group Slack channel. I will. Yeah, yeah, I will. Interesting questions, some discussions in the chat. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And the familiar <laughs> diagrams. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, they keep it at a high level. It's for more generic so audience, but yeah. Still. So the, is five five G standalone? So we're talking private five G. Well, standalone here, I think, means um, it's like it's not mixed because you know the first uh, deployments of the five G were non standalone, where you actually use the five G radios and then the four G core. <laughs> and standalone means you know end to end five G. All right. Yeah, an interesting thing. Okay, I will post it into the channel. All right.
Well, sounds good. Anything else? Nope. Yeah, it's a more generic discussion here. Not much uh, about telcos. <laughs> Probably this was the first one. Does it have the any text content? Oh, they don't have episode twenty-two. No, no, it was it was eighty-four actually. I mean, uh, it was. Oh, um, eighty-four. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. And I don't have that either. <laughs> Admin posted, I guess. Uh, let's see, uh, I guess the they'll upload it later. It's kind of cool that they have notes, um, though. I think there was a link uh, at the video uh, to an Etherpad or something. See in the in the bottom right. No, no, in, in the video itself. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw it to the... But then... This is just looking here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's Etherpad IO Echo, it looks like. Something like this. Echo oh, dash okay. Five. okay, it's on HackMD, sorry, okay. It's not Etherpad. All right. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for that. That's a good one. I'll, go. mm -hmm. I'll watch that video. <clears throat> okay. Thanks, Lucina. Thanks, Nikolai. Uh, Thank we'll you. See you all next week. Thank you. Have a good week. Thank you. Bye bye. You too.